Africa. Hello everybody, I hope you had a good weekend. A weekend as good as the one Marseille just had. Indeed, they are the big winner of the week 9 in Ligue 1 after they win against Caen on Saturday while Bordeaux lost on Friday at Reims and PSG drew again, this time against Monaco on Sunday. Here are the five things we learned from France this weekend. You got a lot of added time in a weekend like this. First, Marseille looked like they would drop points for the first time after six consecutive wins in the league at Caen. And boom, Gignac scored in the 93rd minute to give the leaders yet another victory. Then PSG looked like they would finally win two games in a row for the first time this season on Sunday against Monaco after beating Barcelona on Tuesday. And boom again, Martial equalized for the visitors in the 92nd minute. So much drama in added time this weekend. So PSG dropped two more points on Sunday against Monaco and once again after opening the scoring. It's the fourth time already that this happens this season. And once again, Ron Blanc blamed everything but himself for yet another disappointing performance. He's always trying to find excuses. Oh, the opposition was fresher. Oh, it's because of injuries. Oh, the opposition parked the bus. Oh, my players are programmed to be fit in October. Oh, my players are more motivated in the Champions League than in Ligue 1. Blah, 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 blah. Now you should take responsibilities for the fact that PSG drew six times in nine Ligue 1 games so far this season and that they are already seven points behind Marseille in the table. He is without a doubt one of the most promising forwards of his generation. Paul George Antep, remember the name. The Rennes player was outstanding on Saturday against Lens, scoring a brace at home. His first goal was an absolute beauty as well. At only 22, he's got everything to become the next big star in French football. Skills, pace, talent, arrogance and that consistency as well. He scored five goals already in nine Ligue 1 games only this season, mostly as a left winger as well. For me, the sky is the limit for Antep. In my last video, you probably remember that I declared my love for Wissam Ben Yedder, the Toulouse striker. Well, it was the right time to do it. On Sunday, he gave his team a very important win away at Saint-Etienne, ending the great run of 16 matches with a home defeat in a row for Les Verts. It was Ben Yedder's sixth league goal of the campaign so far already. Didier Deschamps didn't call him up for the next two France games this month, but surely Les Bleus are not far away from Ben Yedder and deservedly so as well. Bastia are the only team now with just one win so far this season. He was back in August the 23rd and since then it's been three draws and three defeats for the Corsicans. They're 19th in the table, second from bottom and their new manager Claude Makelele is struggling. For his first job as manager after two and a half years as an assistant at PSG, the former Chelsea midfielder is having a mare. Having been a great player doesn't mean that you're going to be a great coach and Mackey is still learning his trade, but so far this first experience is proving far more difficult than he thought. Right, that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more Ligue 1 business on the Guardian website and on our YouTube channel. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by just clicking here to get amazing coverage from Spain, Italy and Germany with the amazing Andy Brassel, James von Castle and Raphael Honigstein. Be good and see you soon.